The stream is starting soon. In the meantime, enjoy some music.
and welcome uh, to another live stream. Hello, I am Liam, and uh, welcome to a Sunday morning stream. Uh, good morning to everyone who has written in so far on YouTube and um, everywhere else. Hello, Hunter. Hello, um, DeSoto. Hello, Warner. Uh, hello, Cassie. How's it going? Uh, hello, Liam. How's it going? Oh, it's going good, Liam. Thanks for asking, Liam. Uh, you're welcome, Liam. Um, so uh, today I thought I'd play... Well, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Um, I was going to play a little uh, sports stuff. Um, so if you're not really into mainstream gaming, this is probably not going to be your favorite stream. But I will try to narrate as much as I can and, and make it interesting. Uh, as always, I do want to thank my awesome patrons who make these streams possible. Let me put them up here on the screen. And um, big thanks to Jason Smith, Will Bullock, Mike Shipper, Stephen Luttrell, Kenny, Kevin Lyon, Simon Yeager, Sarah Hawk, Axel Scroll, Chad Blanco, Roland Engelsma, Changeling MX, Jack Filichek, Tiffany J. Kim, Matthew Cooper, Carter Tem, Austin Nix, Bryant, Trevor Johnson, Aliyah Dudley, uh, Sylvia Bazanko, Courtney uh, Barton, and uh, I think that's it. Um, I updated it recently, so I think it. Those should all be current. Um, I think. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Uh, so I thought I would play some uh, some sporty sporty type stuff today. Because uh, I I like sports games. I'm a big fan of the sports i like watching sports and uh i enjoy playing sports games they're fun um i think they're a good time and uh you know hopefully you guys will i'll try to make it enjoyable for you guys as much as i can um so we have a choice today we can play either madden or i can play some nhl 20 um I'm okay with either. NHL 20 could be fun. Madden could be fun. With NHL 20, we could create a new team. Uh, if you guys want to do that, we could make a brand new team and uh, play some games with that team. Um, although, if I make a brand new team, then i got to make a new roster. So that'll take a little while. But my my rosters, I usually like to take um, like alumni players, like famous players like Gretzky and Messier and stuff, and, and put them on rosters but you know maybe you guys have hockey players you like so maybe we could do that um cassie says are you okay um yeah i'm you know i'm uh i'm hanging in there um you know says hey leave me sound tired yeah yeah kind of i don't know um or we could do we could do Madden, which Madden's always fun. Um, I won't start a, a face of the franchise player uh, today, but uh, I could do some of the actual upcoming games. Uh, or we could do um, I'm trying to think what else it's got. So that's the thing about Madden: you can't you can only create like players. You can't create teams, which I always found disappointing. I always hate the fact that you can't. I want to make my own football team, and you can't do it in Madden. I don't know if it's because they don't have the rights to do it or if they're lazy. But um, I don't know. What would you guys like? I'm, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Um, you know. Binge Pipe wants to know your feedback. Would you like... Madden 20 or NHL 20. Vote now. Also, uh, wow, there's only six of you guys tuned in. I'm sorry. I know you guys don't like mainstream gaming, but damn. Fair enough. <laughs> um, should I just like be doing crazy party from now on? Is that what I got to do? Like, okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I never posted the thingy in the Skype group. 
Um, let's see. You know, I'm honestly starting to think, guys. I don't know if I want to voice this out loud. Maybe I'm not going to. Yeah, let me just not say what I'm thinking right now. Yeah, I just um, forget that I even opened uh, a, a thought because I don't want to. I don't want to say what I'm thinking out loud. Binge Pipe wants to know what you like. Do you want a question with balls or a question without? Says Hunter Hoke. <laughs> uh, you know, the new um, Jackbox is coming out later this week, so um may have to stream that, uh, you know, for you guys, if that's something that you'd want. Um I don't know how I feel about the new one. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'm not really... It doesn't grab my interest like the old one, like 5 did, so... But, um... It still might be fun. Um, Alright, so let me get... Uh, console, there we go. Let me get console there. There we go. Xbox, Xbox dashboard, dashboard window. window. Resume. Resume. Launch. Launch. Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Kombat trademark 11. 11. Press, Press the menu button for more I options. Button. Press the Y button, button, button to search. One of four. Notification, like notification from system. Hylium. You're signed um, in. Um, I'll get flagged if I do it. Um, trust me, I'd love to. Actually, I really that would be fun right now. But you should play Madden. I've seen a lot of posts about it on. Uh, audio games. You have to voice your thought. No, I this I don't want to voice it right now. Um, it, it was very negative. Um, so recently used we, my games and apps. Do, I can do some press mad. the Y button to search. Um, one of four. Can, my games and apps window games eighty nine items forty five installed forty four ready mad. to install we could, one of eight um, selected all storage three hundred and thirty seven point four GB free seventy three Capcom beat up games installed I'll try to one of two sorted by AZ. Forza Horizon Much 4, better, the Jackbox Party Pack 2, 16 of really Madden NFL 20, 22 of 45. On. So yeah, let's let's do a little Madden. I'm I'm okay with that. Maybe we can switch to some NHL later. Um, If you guys are into that. I love hockey. That's my sport. Uh, Why well, flagged for playing MK? Because it's uh, very mature content and you have to, if you're going to stream mature content, you have to set certain um, parameters. So, like, the stream would have to be, I have to mark it as 18 and over, and, hey, Chloe, how's it going? Um, yeah, so it's it's just not something that I can do. Uh, also, a couple people asked, Liam, I, I heard that you might be doing a marathon. Um, as you guys can tell, I, I think it's very obvious that I'm not doing well right now. Um... So the marathon I was going to do next week, EA um, Sports. It's in the, game. the problem is that I'm not feeling really good. Um, and I, I'm not opposed to doing it. Um, the problem is I don't think I'd last 16 hours like we did last time. But I was thinking instead of doing a really long marathon, I would do a marathon that we, where we gave away prizes. Um, I actually have... Um, copies of Audio Wizards to give away, which I need to do because those codes are going to expire. Uh, yeah, I might, maybe next, maybe, maybe next week I'll have to do a stream. Maybe even if I don't do a marathon, we'll do a special stream or something and I'll give away those codes. Um, but I do want to give, uh, I do want to do some giveaways. I'd like to Entering give away. Entering main menu screen, join the celebration. Um, I'd like to give away a copy of, uh, what, what's that game that everyone's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over right now? Uh, Sequence Storm. Um, I was going to give away a copy of a uh, H.io uh, copy of that. Um, maybe a copy of a Hero's Call. Uh, maybe a copy of Super Egg Hunt. Well, you know, might give away a few prizes. Um... Because you guys like free stuff. I know I like free stuff too. So I'm, I mean, I, I can't. 
I can't judge. You know, I'm t- but um, let me uh, let me try to get better uh, first before we do that. Hey, Ajan, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Hey, how's it going? Um, I can play uh, MK11 on any tube B. What? EA Sports, it's in the colon. EA Sports, it's really lame. You have a lot of games on your Xbox. Um, so okay, when you guys see me go through my list of games, uh, rule one is most of them are not accessible. I tend to try a lot of games because I have. Um, I was very fortunate, and uh, somebody gave me like three years of Game Pass for free. So I tend to try a lot of games. Doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that they're accessible. I just like to try things to see what works, what doesn't. Um, I like to open up dialogues with companies where I can um, with varying degrees of success, but I I do like to try things. Um, So there really are very few games that are fully accessible. Now, Madden is the, um, you know, this is uh, definitely got a lot of access in it and uh, it is missing in some areas, but in some places is uh you know really good also also thank you hunter that's awesome i really appreciate it um you know i feel bad i i know that i haven't been around much i haven't been feeling good um not sure if it's the weather or what is going on but i've been sleeping a lot again uh i was doing really good for a while and uh now i'm i'm back down which ugh, it sucks um but all right so madden um Madden has almost fully voiced menus. There's a few places in which the menus are really lacking, but let's be honest, this is pretty damn good. Franchise is selected. Exhibition. Face of the franchise. Superstar Co. That's Superstar KO, by the way. Ultimate Team. Uh, Ultimate Team. Customize. Customize. Messenger. Messenger and accessibility. Accessibility. All right, so messenger. messenger. Now these don't. I don't think these read. Unfortunately, uh, notifications. New franchise league game results. Um, let's see. Okay, well that's that's it. Okay. Um, I was looking to see if there were any updates that I needed to know about, but there's not. Uh, also, for those that are wondering, the way that I read um, secondary text that isn't spoken is via OCR. Uh, I have a capture card which sends the signal from the Xbox or whatever console I have hooked up um, straight to the computer. And that's actually how our sighted friends are seeing uh, it on the stream. Uh, there actually is on the screen, there is a um, most of it's taken up by the game. And then in the corner is a little box that has my face in it. Um, and then there's a little space for if there's like updates on, um, you know, super chats or whatever, um, those will show up in that little space. Uh, Yeah. Bounty says, uh, I haven't been feeling great either, Liam. Uh, I have some appointments soon, but my biggest problem has been getting sleep. My biggest problem is getting, um, usable sleep. Um, now I'm on medicine to help fix that but the problem is my sleep's been so erratic i haven't been taking it um because i never know when i'm gonna fall asleep so i'm trying to get back and i think in the last couple days the things have been good where i've actually been able to take it so it seems like it's helping uh liam can you give a guide on playing mainstream games there is no simple solution um i always tell people you just need a lot of patience and a lot of interest because it's this is not one of those where you're like you pick up the xbox controller and you start playing um even madden like you have to sign in and that was kind of frustrating um there's there's things you have to do that are just plain annoying um nhl 20 which maybe i'll stream later after we do a madden game has pretty much no voiced menus i had to figure it all out on my own but i love hockey so for me it was okay i didn't mind taking the time to do it but i'm also like i said a hockey nut i am a huge 
huge hockey fan. That's ridiculous. So I just, you know, it was kind of one of those things where I said, I'm going to do this because I like hockey and I'm tired of not playing these hockey games. I'm going to make the game work for me. And I did. Um, by the way, the game audio is echoing. Oh, really? Oh, hold on. All right. Thanks for letting me know. I, I can fix that. Okay, let's try try this. Accessibility. Messenger. That should be better now. Thank you. I didn't catch that. Is that actual narrator? So what that is, is they're actually doing... My understanding is it's a cloud-based TTS. Um, I think it's cloud-based. Customize. I'm fairly certain it's cloud-based. Um, so it's being processed by the server and sent down. Um, Ultimate team, face of the franchise. I think it is, unless they decided to move. I don't think they embedded um, S box, S you know whatever it is, um, Pico whatever, into the game itself. I think it's um, being processed on a server and sent down, which makes sense. Um, it's like the easiest way to do it. Uh, even though I like free stuff, I say marathon. Well, I might, I might be down for. Let me, let me see. Um, let me see what's going on next week. Um, I should be free next week. I mean, the Bears are playing. I'm gonna miss the Bears game, but uh, I'll give up. I'll give up a Bears game for you guys. Um, you know, my my thought actually. Well, you know what I'm thinking. So what I'm thinking is I might. What I think is going to be better. If you guys can give me a month, I think we should do it at the end of November after Thanksgiving. I think that Sunday after Thanksgiving would be perfect. Um, I don't know. Alexa, when is Thanksgiving this year? So, April, June. So it'd be December 1st, I think. So I mean, we might I might do December first. Let me talk to the my true sound people because they did give me these codes, um, and so maybe I'll see if I can throw them some cash for a few codes, and maybe we could do something next week and give those away because I do need to give those away. They're going to expire. Uh, it's kind of like Mortal Kombat because accessibility is not everywhere. Oh uh, well, you know, Mortal so Mortal Kombat. The, the top menu stuff reads, which is great, but once you get into anything nitty-gritty, it does not read. Now, Madden, they did right. Dude, all right, let, let's... Especially after last week's game where the Raiders... No, the Raiders did not kick the Bears' ass. Let's... Let's, uh, let's talk about that for a second, Sterlock. Um, the Raiders had a very good first half. And blew it the second half. The only reason that the Raiders won was because we threw an interception at the end of the game. Um, nice try. Also, the Raiders are so good, they're moving to Las Vegas. So, you know, your Raiders can can shove it. Um, so, anyways, uh, let, let's talk a little bit about Madden here. So, um, as you guys have heard, as I move through these menus, Franchise they talk. Selected. So, let's go like... A, um, oh, oh, that's exhibition. Hold on. Go back, 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 back. There we go. Let's go to accessibility. accessibility. Entering settings screen. VoIP window option. Menu narration option is set to on. VoIP window option is set to off. Subtitles option is set to off. Controller vibration option is set to assist. So that's set to assist. I will talk about that in uh, a minute when we start playing the game. Color blindness option is set to normal vision. So we can set those color blindness options. Brightness option is set to default. Contrast option is set to default. VoIP to text menu fade option is set to 100. Master volume set to 100. All right. So here's where we can set all the volumes. Audio mix option is set to custom. We're going to do a custom In -game mix. In-game commentary set to 74. All right. So we have the commentary. Stadium speaker set to 94. Crowd volume set to 80. On the field set to 96. Music set to zero. 
I'm actually going to turn field, down the... Set to 91. There we go. Set to 90. I'm going to turn down the on-field a little bit. I'm going to turn volume, up the stadium, stadium speakers. Set, set, set to 100. Music set to zero. I'm going to leave the music off so that I don't get copyright flags on YouTube. Um, So that's just the accessibility menu now. What's really cool Enter is messenger. I can go to customize... customize. Customize pop-up menu. You have nine options. View Superstar X Factors is selected. Hey, Chris. How's it going, man? Um, yeah, the voice is being processed. But, well, and it, it probably, you would actually, you guys would be surprised. We have this discuss, discussion on the AG forum, and you'd be really shocked how many products are doing cloud uh, text-to-speech. Uh the cable boxes like for Comcast are doing it. Um, this game is doing it. And it makes sense because it's a solution that can be uh, deployed across platforms very quickly. Um, so they can't. It's very hard to hook native TTS because the Xbox has it. The PS4 does not. The Switch does not. Um, so it, it makes sense for them to roll a solution that they can literally just drop in. And so I thought I think it's really smart um, personally. I realize the voice sucks. Um, but look, we have a voice. Download live content. I mean, look, I can read these menus. The Superstar X Factors. Manage rosters. Customize playbooks. Share manage files. Madden awards. Creation center. Like, where else are you going to be able to do that? You know? Extras. Oh, thank you so much! Yes! Let's see. I believe that was a Patreon. It is. Thank you, Shane. Welcome to the Irvin Army in a big way, too. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, what game is this? This is Madden 20. Um, all right, so I'm not going to go through all the menu, but you there is a creation zone. Creation and center. in here, you can do... Cre um, create edit uniforms. Create player. We have players, uniforms. Create, delete custom uniforms. And you can delete uniforms. So we can make custom players. I have actually made a Liam Irvin player. Um, main I'm customized. not sure where he's at, actually. I think he's on the Bears. Um, so, like... But I'm not actually sure where he is. I made a, a Liam player and I made a Damon player. And the Liam player is a big, huge, tall, fat guy. The Damon player is a little skinny dude. Um, but uh, we won't see them today because we're going to do a uh, an actual what I call them live games. But uh, they're actual like real matchups. Um, Messenger. So we're Custom going to go to Superstar Co. Face of the Fran. Exhibition. Exhibition. Exhibition pop-up menu. You have five options. And so we have play now. Play now. Online head-to-head. -head. Online head-to-head. -head. I don't have anyone to play with. Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl. We can play the NFL Pro Bowl. Skill trainer. Skill trainer. Practice. And practice. So we have those options. So we're going to do play now. Now, this is something that the update just got released recently. And so they fixed this screen. Entering play now live screen. You have seven options. Custom game is selected. So we can do a custom game or <laughs> we could do this. Thursday prime time New York Giants at New England Patriots is selected. Sunday prime time Pittsburgh Steelers at Los Angeles Chargers is selected. Monday prime time Detroit Lions at Green Bay Packers is selected. Eagle-eyed Philadelphia Eagles at Minnesota Vikings is selected. Best in the West San Francisco 49ers at Los Angeles Rams is selected. The Jags and New Orleans Saints at Jacksonville Jaguars is selected. Yeah, so we can actually do uh, these actual real matchups. And these are actual matchups. So, like, uh, the Jacksonville games at noon today... I don't know when the Minnesota game is, but like obviously the tonight's game is the Pittsburgh one. Tomorrow is the um, 
Packers and Lions. And so we can actually play those with the real statistics, the real lineups and everything. All right, so should we do the Sunday night game? Let's see who's Sunday. Best in the West, San Fran. Sunday prime time, Pittsburgh Steelers at Los Angeles Chargers is selected. Yeah, I, I could do that. I'm going to be the Chargers, though. I can't stay on the Steelers. Oh, I wonder who is going to be. Oh, don't they have that quarterback that, like, he um wasn't even drafted? Oh, that could be interesting. Oh, see, now I'm like, do I want to be the cool quarterback or do I want to, like, make the the Steelers look bad thanks Leo I'm glad you enjoy both the streams and the podcast oh man who should I be say so I feel kind of bad being a uh I feel kind of bad being a, a you know shelling a, a rookie quarterback um Sunday prime time Pittsburgh Steelers at low. Thursday prime time New York Giants. Sunday prime time Pittsburgh Steelers. Entering select your team pop up select your team for the game Steelers one to four is selected. Be the cool quarterback. Yeah, we could do that. Chargers two to three Steelers one to four. Steelers are one and four. Sure. Yeah, let's be the Steelers. All right, so uh, I hit A, and it's going to immediately load, so we don't get to set anything. Um, but here we go. So let's get ready now. The cool thing is, like I said, everything is fresh. Um, we're going to get the actual lineups. We're going to get the statistics, all this stuff. So we're just letting this puppy load. Hey, everybody, it's the coach. You're tuned in to Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one, between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Los Angeles Chargers. I'll join you again at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from earlier this afternoon. But for now, it's Sunday Night Football. And on the call, as always, Brandon God and Charles Davis. Coach, thanks. We are about 12 miles south of the future home of the Chargers at the current home of the Chargers, and that's Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Los Angeles Chargers. Hi, everybody. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And, Charles, we take a look at this Charger club entering play here. We're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should, and what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. Right. Meanwhile, for the visiting Steelers, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both want it to be a victory. This should be a fun one. All right. So I'm not sure. Okay, so now let's talk about, um, remember a minute ago I mentioned. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season. All right, and so that's, I'm going to get the ball. Be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back oh, and we're just going to down it. Okay. And it comes out to the 25 yard line. Right, so let me turn that down a little bit. Now for their first drive. They'll be led out by a third-round pick back in 2018 out of Oklahoma State. It's Mason Rudolph. Wait, I thought he got injured. They must not have had a chance to update it. Impact on the game. He threw a touchdown pass, didn't throw an interception. I think he just wants to jump those numbers up in terms of flinging it around and letting his receivers get into the end zone. Hello, Kamar. How's it going? Um, okay, so I want to explain. Let me pause really quick because we'll, otherwise we'll play Croc. Uh, we'll run down. Um, we have um, vibration feedback. So I'm going to, for like the first quarter, I'm going to try and hold the controller to the microphone so you can hear the vibrations and get an idea. Um, so it, when I set up the play, if a short vibration, if I get a short one, it means we're going to make a run pass. 
if I get a long one, it means that we're going to be uh, actual, actually trying to throw the ball. Um, so as, as we go, I'm going to kind of pause and explain things. But So let's, let's start. So we're going to do our first play. I am on a fence. I have the ball. And um, I've got to go about 80 yards. So let's start. Run play. This is a guy who made a Pro Bowl in his second season, James Conner. He's at the 50. Oh, he's going to run he's it. He's at the 30, 20, and into the end zone. Touchdown. Literally That's one play. play. James <laughs> Conner, his fourth touchdown on the year. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Wow, first play in the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive-type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, he spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out right, the so window. So now I'm going to kick the ball. And to do that, I'm going to have... Uh, we're going to have um, some uh, meters come up. And so my goal is to try to time these meters, and we're going to get vibrational feedback for that. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. Uh, Delay of game. Come on, man. All right. So and that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And his kick is no good. Oh. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6 nothing game. Whoops. Well, that sucks. All right, so now we're going to kick it away to the defense. And there we go. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. This is taken at his four. There we go. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. Out comes Phillip Rivers in the No, this game Angeles is not for Android. Offense. This is for Xbox. Disappointing week five for the Chargers. That loss to Denver drops LA to two and three on the season. Phillip Rivers in that game, 211 yards passing, but no touchdowns and two interceptions. On the season for Rivers, interestingly, just seven touchdown passes. And you look back to 2007, every year he's been between 26 and 33 touchdown passes. Very All right. consistent, but this year on track to go below those numbers. And L.A.'s offense struggling. 20th total offense in the NFL right now out of the 32 teams. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And the offensive starters here for Los Angeles. If you're going to talk about great players with the Chargers, you have to include their center, Mike Pouncey, a four-time Pro Bowler. He and his brother Marquise with the Pittsburgh Steelers. They were the Pro Bowl centers for the AFC in 2018. On second and nine, Rivers throwing the ball, but it's incomplete. So that the computer tried to throw the ball and uh, didn't connect. And now it's third down. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. There are 32 teams in the NFL, and they're just better than 50% of them at defending the pass number 16 in the league. And while teams don't like to talk about it, they're pretty proud of their rankings. But this ranking is going to be put to the test today because they're going up against a top five passing offense in this one. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Now a third ah. down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Boy, did it ever. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. Okay, the so now the they're going to kick it back to us. Passing downs is one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Oh, 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 it bounced. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end nice. zone, and that'll be a touchback. Pittsburgh's offense takes the field again here. As we discussed earlier, they are one and four. All the quarterback woes that we talked about. The defense continues to be the strength of this team. And week five, getting five sacks, three interceptions in the loss against Baltimore. 
But gosh, you thought maybe this Steelers team was starting to get some traction Monday night, week four, when they took care of Cincinnati. But now back in the loss column, and things aren't going to get easier. They have to face the Chargers on the road in week six, and then they'll get a much needed Ooh. bye week in week seven. A big chunk of yardage there, 37 yards. Wow. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. I think we're going to throw. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute yep. confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just oh, takes he it missed. and goes with abandon. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Desmond King. Uh, I think it's for coverage. Windows. I don't know if... Well, you need a controller for the vibration feedback, though. When is the best time to press Y? Uh, I've been pressing X. I wonder if that's my problem. I need a good list of controls. I don't really have one. Oh, and don't mind that. My, my uh, Xbox is kind of old. So. Oh, he's running. Wow. James Conner with his second touchdown of the game. Okay, Entering. this is really getting annoying Entering. with this controller. Plus this I just charged this, so I don't know what the deal is. The Steelers, if that keeps up, I'll go get it. Oh, let's see, it's doing Entering. it again. Entering. Pause screen for Zoom. If it keeps doing that, I'll go get a cable and hook it up to the uh, Xbox directly. All right, so we're going to kick. Well for the extra point. Kick is up. And he atones for his miss. The first there we go. As this one is up and good to extend their lead. So the drive there. Thirteen nothing. In three plays, and it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. Also, it's cool as you, the uh, guy talks. Uh, the PA announcer talks. You get to hear what you know. This will be fielded at the six. Ooh. Ah, Enter, stop it. Entering, across the 20, as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles they just did the charge. So oh, because they're the Chargers. I get it. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession. Let's see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up and see what the defense does oh. here too after a good start. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a charger first. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone yes, this is a video game. The drag route can be effective when it's run well. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up. All right. So there. Now Rivers going to give it off to Glee. Oh, and we stopped him. Nice. Also, this guy is telling you what's going on, so that's cool. So a look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. They tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well. Wow. Rivers really threw that, and the ball came up. Uh, so that fell. down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Oh. Completes it to Benjamin. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. All right, so they were not able to get it. So now they got to kick it away. I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't oh, been the case. Oh. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily 
going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether it's the they shut up, I would like to know where the ball is. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Oh, there we go. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but through an opening. Oh, my God, he's running. He Look at him go. Pass the 20. And a cut to the right and some open field here. And great yardage here all the way go, deep into Los Angeles territory. A big play that time for Pittsburgh. 63 yards Whoa. on the ground. So they had it bottled up, able to make a man miss, and then boom, off to the races. And it's how he made him miss. A little bit of strength, too. Had to work through contact to get him off of him. And then once he did that, now he put his agility to use and took off. So from their own 20 all the way to the red zone now, a chance to capitalize on first and 10. All right, so I, that pass was good. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Wow. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Okay. This defense porous so far in this first quarter. They face another first and pushing and fighting his way in for a Steeler touchdown. James Conner doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. Well, Brandon, if we go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator, he showed us his script. Didn't show us everything now. Nice. He said, here's the script for the game. I think everything's going according to plan in a big way. Three drives, three touchdowns. Yeah, that's about as good as that is as good yeah, as Yeah, their you commentary do, guess, engine so is really well amazing. Done. Yeah, well done indeed. Tremendous execution. No, I agree. It does. It really sounds like you're watching it on TV. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is taken at his four. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line. Charge! And now out <laughs> on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've already punted away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the oh. sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first that down? That sounded painful. Momentum. Offense. That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. They run it here with Gordon. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Only a yard on the pickup there. Wow, so there down. we've got him hemmed in. Happy to be back in the fold after reporting to the Chargers on September 26. And you know, the fan base is happy to have Melvin Gordon back as well. Week five, his first game back, 12 carries, 31 yards. And he certainly figures to be the bell cow in that backfield for the Chargers going forward. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Able to get this to Gordon. Ooh, and he'll be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. I wonder if they're going to go for it. Probably not. Here's Ty Long now as he's on to punt for L.A. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Wow, so we're only through the first quarter. The start quarter number two, but likely not for long as they're in punt formation to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's Switzer, shrugs the tackle. Nice. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Steelers are going on offense here. Yeah, they don't ten. support Super Chat in every region, unfortunately. The rest of this offense uh, I wish they did, there. but... Not only does he not have a catch, I don't, I don't think he's been targeted in this game, but they're winning. And if you ask a receiver of his magnitude, 
he'll tell you that it's because everyone is focused on him anyway. Okay, you've taken it away. No catches, no targets, but we're still winning. Ooh. I'm things up for the rest of my team. I know how receivers think. <laughs> They've been using him as a decoy, and effectively so. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Go, go. On that quick throw, 70, what do you think? 80. Possibly something they saw at the line to go there? Possibly, possibly in the game plan. Oh! They run with an empty backfield. No backs there. That was a big throw protection. and it was tipped. So you have to have a counter to that because you know they're probably going to bring pressure when they see an empty backfield. So you get rid of the ball quickly. Quick drop, balls out of the quarterback's hands, keeps it from getting hit, and they get a completion. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. Nice. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. Oh, not nice. Down. And that's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play, that's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone. Wow. But it's incomplete. That's too bad. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The now we get to kick it away. Or should we? He was trying to force it in there on third down. Let's go but for if it. There's a time to force it. He felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. It gets by him, and now a little daylight. Oh, my God. And into the end zone. Touchdown. We went for it on fourth. James Washington. His first touchdown on the year. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it? Might miss. Down. Come and, on. Oh, okay. oh. That looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Man, that sucks. Oh. Chris Boswell set to kick off. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. A reminder coming up tomorrow night, Charge. Monday Night Football. It's the Packers' second home primetime game in three weeks as they host their NFC North rivals, the Detroit Lions. Kickoff 8-15 Eastern, 7-15 Central. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now Rivers throw into the hands of Gordon. And Ooh. they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series. And then you oh, jeez. And you're trying to put some points on the board. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. For an offense that has not found wow. the end zone yet, that's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It was Mika Fitzpatrick that time to break that one up. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still leading for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. Nope. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. A pass for negative yardage. Third Obviously down. No good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch oh. everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. They all came together there in breaking route. Jordan with excellent pace. Money throw right there. Beep, 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 beep. The sticks. First down, Rivers. 
That's complete to his tight end. This is Lance Kendricks. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. Chargers might get a score here. First down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. And it's caught. And he's in oh. for a Charger touchdown. Travis Benjamin, his first touchdown of the year. As they are now on the board here in the first half. Well, you know. Now the scoreboard still does not look good, but at least they polished off that goose egg. Yeah, they've been thoroughly outplayed in the first half. Finally, a little spark of life. But it's oh, and the kick is up and good. Flame for them to thoroughly get back into this one. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that'll make this a 19-point ball game. All right, so now the we're waiting for the arc. Kick it away. This one fielded at the five. Shrugs off another. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Okay, let's see if we can get that score back. The offense here about ready for their next drive. They have been red hot, sometimes white hot here in this first half. They're just looking to add to that total right now. And this has to serve as a reminder to myself because so many times I get wrapped up in the play calling, how they've sequenced things, how it's run. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still execution. Those guys out on the field, and right now they are locked in and really looking good. They'll try to continue to be locked in here as we get ready to approach halftime. On fourth down, here comes a Steeler punter, Jordan Berry, to kick it away. No. Travis Benjamin deep for the Chargers. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one oh, away here. Oh. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no Let's return. And go. it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Phillip Rivers and his Chargers about ready to take over again. And how does he rally the troops, so to speak? He, he's played well, but they're down big on the scoreboard. How does he get his guys going? To make sure they understand it's not a me game, it's a team game. Everyone has to come together. Everyone has to up the level of play a little bit, including himself, Ooh. and find a way to make some plays in order to give them a little bit of a spark and rally the team. We'll see if they can indeed rally down big on the score. Oh, no, I'm playing this. And he's the guy, Mike Williams, that the Chargers took seventh overall a couple of years ago. Battled injuries as a rookie, but in full health last year, he caught 43 passes with a knack of really finding the end zone. Ten of those 43 catches went for touchdowns. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. To throw again, Rivers. Throwing middle, no. but ah. it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry, and it's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Got Gordon open, completes it. And but that's not enough. near midfield, but that's still a few yards no. shy of the first down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding Let's the game, they understanding do. positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display oh, right look at there. Him. Got it to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll start up at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. And as you see, they were winners back on Thursday night. Julian Edelman, well over a hundred yards receiving with three touchdown catches. From there we say, so long America, hello England. As we head over the Atlantic to check out the action in London. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Carolina Panthers. 
Jameis Winston, four touchdown passes in the victory. And finally, on Monday Night Football, a good one in the NFC North. Lions and Packers from Lambeau to wrap up the week. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half for the answer? We turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. And All right, so um, that was one half of Madden. Um, screen I was thinking about switching over to some hockey. Guide for Liam, Urban Window. Uh, Guide I am a five of big ice hockey Home. fan, Button. and one I thought we would do actions. something fun games, today. And uh, not only will I play it, but uh, I'll create a team. One of one. So you guys can give me input My on the team, Minecraft, NHL Re Rocket their name, NHL Phoenix Wright, that NHL sort of thing. 20, 29 of 45. Uh, so we're going to make the jump. Okay. Now this game, unfortunately, does not talk like uh, Madden does. But fortunately, I am very familiar with its menu layout. So uh, we will, um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll handle it just fine. EA Sports, it's in the game. Right. Play now. So we do have spoken menus for the top level stuff. YouTube thingy here. There we go. Okay. All right. So I'm going to create a brand new team. And to do that, I'm going to go down to creation zone. Practice mode. Creation zone. Create player. All right. So I can create player, create team. Create team. There we go. And unfortunately, this is where the uh, narrated stuff kind of stops. But I'm familiar enough with this where I can do this without needing the uh, all the particulars. Okay. So, um, I have my list of teams. But I'm going to create a new team. Edit club info. And at least he read that one for me. That's cool. All right, so we're going to edit club info. We're going to go to that one first. All right, so what I like to do first is I like to pick my city first, and then I pick my play-by-play -play name, then I fill in the other details. All right, so we have all sorts of cities here. We have um, Bridgeport, Brisbane, Bristol, British Columbia, Bruneau, Brooklyn, Broussard, um, Budapest, uh, we have all sorts of stuff. Um, so we have cities A through Z. Um, so if anybody has a city name in mind, write it in. And if they have it, we'll use it. So we have Calgary, California, Cambridge, Canada, Cape Breton, Capital City, Caprica, Carolina, Castle Downs, Central, uh, Charleston, Charlestown, um, let me see here, let me scroll down to the bottom of the C list. Cowtown, Czech Republic, 
Corpus Christi, Copenhagen, Connecticut, Compton, Columbus, Colorado Springs, Colorado, Calon, Colleyville. Um, let's see here. In our D's, we have things like Dallas, Davos, Delaware, Delta, Denmark, Denver, uh, Detroit. We have Dublin, so we could have an Irish team. Dusseldorf, uh, Durham, Duisburg. Uh, then in our E's, we have Edmonton, El Paso, Elmira, Erie, um, Espoo, uh, Evansville, Everett. Uh, then let's see, our Fs. Finland, Flint, Florence, Florida, Forest Lawn, Fort Wayne, Fort Worth, Framingham, France, Frankfurt, Fredericton, Fresno. So uh, if you guys have an idea for city name, uh, I'd love to hear it. Otherwise, I'll just pick one at random. The Google guy. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, the Google's got the new walking stuff. I need to try that. When the weather is not so crappy, I'm going to have to try the uh, the new talking Google map stuff. I just haven't gone anywhere to use it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pick a city. I, I don't. I think this is. It's very quiet today. Um. So I'm gonna pick. Can we do Atlanta? Should we do an Atlanta team? I'm sure they have Atlanta. <gasps> they have Alaska. I could do the Alaska Aces. I miss them. Yeah, look, it's already it's already set up for me. They used Aces as the first name. So theoretically, we could just be the Alaska Aces and be done with it. I think that'd be cool. I think we should do that. I think I'm just going to be the Alaska Aces. Um, all right, so there we go. My team's done. I'm the Alaska Aces. Now, I have a lot of things I can set here. I can set colors, uh, mascots. Edit club info. Arena. But arena is the thing that I'm interested in. I'm not really interested in the first two rows. I'm way more interested in... This is the part you guys are going to like. Arena audio. And in arena audio, I have... Goal horns, power play music, uh, wind song, and goal song. All right, so we're going to do horns. We can make our own hockey horn. So goal horn type, we can either do created or preset. I'm going to create one. Okay, so now we're going to go into the whole area to create our goal horn. And a goal horn is made of up to three layers. Um, so we can uh, choose our sounds, our blasts, and our flare. And what the blast means is how long the horn sounds and how many times it sounds and how much delay between each horn blast. And flares, we'll get to those in a minute. Um, all right, so let's create our horn. So we have three layers. We have base layer mid and treble so let's start with our bass layer now i could decide to make a serious sounding horn or i could make the most ridiculous sounding one ever currently it sounds like this that's our horn that's that's all we have just a short toot kind of lame um so do i want to make a high-pitched horn we have We 
Look at all these horns. Oh, well, we have that one too. Jeez. I kind of want to make a loud, deep horn. I want it to rattle everyone's fillings in the stands. I want when that horn to go off, I want people's teeth to fall out. That would be cool. So oh, that that makes my my head rattle. I like that one. Right, so we're going to do that. That's our base layer. We'll go over to our mid layer. And let's see here. What do we got? Let's find another deep one. Nope. We have a, a horn. That might be a good one. Okay, why would we want that? Oh my god. Oh yeah, let's try this one. Alright, so here's our horn so far. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> um, where's the one that I saw? Yeah, let's try this one. That's still pretty horrendous. Don't you have another good? Yeah, let's go with this one. There we go. There we go. All right, let's see what we got. Oh my god. Problem is, it sounds too musical right now, but hopefully I can find something to make it. Alright, so now we're going to go into our trebles, our, our, our highs. We got that. Got that. Let's try this one. See how this one sounds. It sounds too musical. That's my problem. I don't like a musical horn. I want, you know, they're never cool. You want like a loud. This one. God, it just sounds musical. No, I don't want a, a harmony horn. You want your horn to be all messed up, man. Whoa, I've never heard this one before. What does this sound like? That's horrible. I don't like these two. Oh my god. That actually does sound pretty horrendous. Can I put one like right in the middle? Alright, let's try this. It won't be as earth shatteringly sh uh, shaking, but. Oh my god, that's horrendous. Oh, I love it. That just that just sounds awful. Oh my god. Okay, so let's say we're happy with that. We can go back. And we can go to blasts. We want uh let's do two. Two blasts. Um all right, blast one. We're going to make that longer. And we're going to set the delay. For the longest delay. Okay, then we're going to go to blast two. We're going to set that. Uh, 
Hold on. All right, long. There we go. All right, so our horn sounds like this. Oh my god, okay. No, 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 I think we want me. Oh, pfft. Okay. How about... There we go. Give me medium. Then... Give me... Medium... On this one. Okay, there we go. So here's our horn. Here's our current horn. I don't know why. Why is that one still long? Here. There we go. All right. So here's our horn. I think that's pretty good for a hockey horn. I'm pretty content with that. Okay, then let's go over to uh, flares. So a flare is a sound that plays after the horn is, is done. So we have all these. We've got like this one. A bomb. Some bugles. Bowling. A cash register. A chainsaw. A chicken. Bell? Oh, what? Train? I like the bell. A cowbell. Record scratch. A dolphin? What are these things? A didgeridoo. A cow. A laugh. Fireworks. A goat. I have a goat. Glass breaking. A gong. More gongs. A slot machine. They have a slot machine. <laughs> a horse. It's like a jet plane. And we have like a oh we have like the auga horn. A loon. Those monkeys. Oh, an owl? Another owl? I don't know. What the hell that is? What is that? 
Oh, popcorn. A rattlesnake. A raven. Never more. Um, we have a roar. I kind of like that one. What? Oh, that's a roar. A rooster. A sea lion. Maybe we could be. Maybe I could be the Alaska seals. The the Alaska seals. I, that's easy to change. And that whenever we score a goal, <laughs> I'm good. I'm doing it. All right, we're, we're, I'm going to change us to the Alaska seals. They have seals in Alaska, right? I hope they do. All right, so here's here's our goal horn as it stands. All right. There it is. All right, then we get to pick our our goal song. Give me a goal song. So this, we need a song for whenever we score a goal. All right, what do we have under miscellaneous? Those are usually the most fun. All right, let's see what we got here. I need something fun. Yeah, because we're seals. Oh my god. Are you serious? All right, I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, the seals. Oh, I love it. Okay. There's our... We're the seals. There's our goal song. I'll make sure to change the uh, team name before I'm done. Okay. So, I'm not going to change any of the visual stuff with the arena. I don't care. Um, club info I want to edit, though. Why? Cap H. Cap Cap F. Cap D. Cap S. Cap F W. E. E. D. S. A. A. F. H. J. K. L. L. D. S. S. There we go. Keyboard grid. The Alaska Seals. I guess we could have been the Oakland Seals. I mean, because we could have remade. But I like Alaska better. All right, nicknames. We're gonna change it to Ace Seals. Y. Selection deleted. Cap H. Cap N. Cap, cap C. Cap D. Cap S. Cap W. E. E. S. A. A. H. J. K. L. L. K. G. D. S. S. There we go. Keyboard grid. Okay, so we have the. I need to change the. Oh. I need to actually go change the play by play name. So they have, oh, they do have seals. Okay. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Okay. 
All right, so that should be... I gotta set our abbreviation. Cap T. Cap G. Cap Cap D. Cap S. Cap A. K. H. J. K. L. K. K. Keyboard grid. And our arena is still called Aces Arena. I'm gonna call it Alaska Arena. Edit. Y. Cap A. C. E. S. E. C. Cap A. Space. S. Space. S. Cap H. Cap 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 S. Cap A. Cap S. H. J. K. L. L. G. F. D. S. A. A. S. S. F. G. H. J. K. K. D. S. A. A. Alaska Arena. Okay. Keyboard grid. So there's our arena done. Club info. Um. Arena. Now I gotta do our roster. So what I usually do when I do rosters is I usually just pick professional players that I'm familiar with. Um, probably going to pick... Uh, well, there's Liam. We'll choose me because I want to play hockey. Okay. Then what I usually tend to just do is I go... Um, I just tend to go down the list of the all-time all-stars. So we have Oh, where's my where's my dudes? Uh Wayne Gretzky, Patrick Waugh, Mario Lemieux, Gordy Howe, uh Plant. I'm just grabbing a bunch of like awesome players. Uh, oh, Nicholas Lidstrom. Mark Messier. So I'm just taking all the. Oh, Jay Velavo. Uh, who else we got here? Guy Lafleur. Gotta have Guy LaFleur. Uh, our Burke. And then we have these other teams. So we have like... All-time Eastern Conference. Um, All-time Grit. So Gordy Howe, Chris Chelios. I want Chelios. Clark, I don't know who that is, but we'll take him. Oh, Jeremy Roenick. T. Lindsay. T. Flory. Uh, Gilmore. Ron Hextel. Keith Kachuk. Oh, yeah. Not familiar with G. Roberts. Who else we got here? I'll oh, take you. Uh, let's see. J.R. Nett. 
Who's at the bottom of the list? Sometimes you find dudes at the bottom that are really cool. Oh, they got Stu Grimson. Yeah, we got to pick him up. All right, so we have uh, 22 out of 40 players already. So, and they're all, except for me, <laughs> they're all uh, Hall of Fame players. Oh, this player already exists on your team. Okay. Sorry. My bad. All right, Timo Solani, Phil Coffey. Oh, Joe Sackick. I got to get him. I know Ethereum is going to hate it. Not that I care what Ethereum likes, but... So just looking to see if there's a couple more players I can grab. Oh, Luke Robitaille. Chris Pronger. Yeah. I believe that's Brent Hull. All right, we'll take him. Curry. I'll grab one or two more players. Shouldn't I should have enough goaltenders now, so. Oh, Steve Eiserman. Yeah, come on. Good player. Pavel Datsuk. Mike Badano. Okay, I think we're good. I've got enough players, so I've got my team. They're all situated. Save. The Alaska Select Seals. Select save to okay. Save all now, uh, I think I'm going to start a, fran a season mode with these guys. Now, the question is, what league should I put them in? Um, I can put them in the NHL, the American Hockey League, the ECHL. I could put them in one of the junior leagues. I'm kind of thinking about putting them in the ECHL taken um somebody i'm trying to think who i want to take out because i got to take a team out i can't um double up on teams play now nh nhl3 be a pro world of Cha draft champion season mode let's see who could i might take either wichita or tulsa out I'm going to take a look really quick when we get there. Okay. So let's go to new season. Yeah, I already picked up Patrick. Hey, shouldn't you be at church? Hey Thier, how does it know that I? Uh, how does it know if? Uh, how do you feel to know that I picked up Patrick Wall over you? That's gotta suck, huh? Your goaltender character is not even on our team. All right, so we're gonna do ECHL. Uh, it's loading the list. Okay, so we have Adirondack, Allen Americans. Atlanta Gladiators, Brampton Beasts, Cincinnati Cyclones, Florida Everblades, Fort Wayne Comets, Greenville Swamp Rabbits. Then we have Idaho Steelheads, Indy Fuel, Jacksonville Icemen, Kalamazoo Wings, Kansas City Mavericks, Maine Mariners, Newfoundland Growlers, Norfolk Admirals. Then we have Orlando Solar Bears, Rapid City Rush, Reading Royals, South Carolina Stingrays, Toledo Walleye, Tulsa Oilers, 
wheeling nailers, and then where's Wichita? I think maybe they're on the far right. Oh, they're right there. All right, so I'm going to take the Wichita, Wichita Thunder out. I'm going to swap them for our new team, the Alaska Seals. I got the Alaska Seals. I got Alaska, Birmingham, Compton, and Seattle. So we're going to take Alaska. There's the Seals. Okay, so I want to control the Alaska Seals. So they're the second one right there. So I'm going to go down to start. All right, there's my Alaska seal. So uh, I want to set some settings really quick. Accessibility. And I love how that's the only thing in there that talks. Everything else does not talk. Okay. So rules, I'm going to set... Uh, let's see here. Okay, where is... How do I load my set? Okay, because I made a set of rules. Where's my custom ones? Oh, international... Where's uh, mine? No, where's my existing one? Oh, maybe I didn't make one. Okay. Well, I'm going to make one. Okay. Hold on. Uh, let's see. I just want to make sure I turn up fighting all the way. Oh, we want injuries on because that's how we get the good fights. Frequency of penalty calls. Give me as many penalty calls as you can humanly can. I'm at two slash two. Okay, I'm going to save a new preset. Oh, wait, that's just to save a game style. How do I save a rule set? Oh, maybe I just had to switch. Okay, I see, I see, I see. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, that's, that's, we'll just go with this. All right. Accessibility. So we have um, that set. Let me just check the main options really quick. All right, so four minutes. I want to do three minutes, I think. Let's do three minute periods. Three minutes. All right, there we go. All right, we have three minute periods. Let's see here. Um, I'm not gonna mess with sliders. I think I've already got those set up the way I want them. Uh, I did. So like, injuries are, are fairly high. I think I've got the skating to a point where I can decently skate. Uh, the computer is decent. Uh, so I think we're good. Oh, ma mass is at 12, huh? Okay. All right. So I think we're good. I think we're set. Start season. And like I said, I took the place of the Wichita Thunder. So, uh, now we are the Alaska Seals are, um in their place so they'll play all their games okay so sim to next game I'm gonna do that okay play next game uh, in Alaska Arena uh, I don't alright it doesn't say hold on let me pop this up here 
play a game. Okay. So we are playing. Oh, the Indie Fuel. All right. So we're playing the Indianapolis Fuel. And uh, I am the Alaska Seals. So here we go. Loading up our game. And uh, it's kind of hard to explain how I play this, um, but I've got the game slowed down enough where I have a chance. And what happened? Oh, my controller is being a controller. Sorry. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. All right, here we go. The Fuel have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. And he regains control of the puck. Whoa, scores! The captain comes through! Wow. Liam Irvin, first goal of the season. That is an absolute laser. Right past the goalie. He doesn't even make much of an effort on it. Alaska's I love got our the music. game's first goal. That didn't take long. Nobody really sitting down yet. Now they're back on their feet. The bench explodes with the early first goal. By number 85. Time of the goal. The Seals pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Dumps it in. Scooped up along the wall by the flirt. Using the net for cover. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Indies got the puck in their own end. Alaska's gained possession along the boards. And that banks off a stick. So I don't tend to pass much. I tend to just fire. Um, passing is center. hard. I haven't Johnson really found a, a good way to do it without turning it over. Grabs the puck. Okay, Indy's got it. We, we got it back. He was waiting for oh, no, Indy's still got it. Right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. In close. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh. Nice move. To the shooter. So they actually got a shot on us. Oh no, there's a penalty. Gretzky's going off for charging. Once he puts up his little Gretzky. Here he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty. We can't do that. Always. You never think it's the right call. Well, as both teams dig in for the face-off here, just moments away, it's our first opportunity Bad, to look at the power Bad. play unit here. Well, this power play shows up at a rather opportune time. They're trailing by one, and now a chance to level the score off. Aggression will be the key for them. The Fuel have gained control of the puck along the wall. And the gloves are off, ready to respond yeah. with a different kind of hit. How's ready to go? Apparently so I just took, to do with them. I took one of their guys down, and they got and mad about it. Gets it out of his own end. Taken by Howe. Puck scooped up by Bellavo. He scores! Even undermanned, they deliver. Yeah, it's a sloppy play by the power play. But shorthanded, they get aggressive. They get up the ice and are able to score while down a man. This shot is a good one. It's released quickly, but the goaltender never picks it up. There's such a gaggle of traffic in front of him. He never I might turn up. I'm going to turn up the sound, the music a little bit so we can actually hear our arena stuff. Accessibility. Settings. Puck. puck color. Player. Audio. Menu music. T menu. Arena music volume. Eight. Ten. Commentary volume. Eight. The volume of the game, arena announcer volume, 10, crowd volume, 8, the volume of the crowd when in game. What happened to my controller? Goal mm -hmm. horn volume, 10, All the right. vo sound effects volume, master volume, menu narration, menu music type, menu, mu arena music volume. 10, the menu music, uh, commentary volume, 8, arena announcer volume, 10, crowd volume, 8, 7. There we go. I'm going to turn the crowd down a little bit. 
Goal horn volume. 10. There the we volume go. volume of the in-game goal horn. Accessibility. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Mm -hmm. The Seals have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Here's a shot! Stopped by the goaltender. And manages to clear the zone. And makes the routine save. Behind the net, looking for the transition game. See, I think it's a little easier now to hear... Like the on ice sounds. Got time here in this first period to increase this lead. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are. And he's going after him here. Lindsay's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere. So I took out their player. Someone else wanted to fight, and I just do. I wouldn't do it. I'll fight at my own time. Everyone needs a little break here. They look a little tired. They get it out of the zone, and they can get some fresh troops on the ice. All right, looks like Indy's got it fairly and he deep. Gets the zone here. Looking to make something happen the There we go. Hey, James, going to wind that back up just for a moment. That was a huge hit on this last shift. Gets it out of his own end. Brooks has the puck against the half wall. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Oh, come on, controller. You're, you're not even losing. I don't know what your deal is. All right. He manages to clear the zone. Picked up along the wall by Lafleur, And that's blocked away. The fuel have the puck in the defensive zone. Knocked away. Dumps it in. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Quick feed to Danico. Alaska's got it now, and he's able to handle that one. Save made by the goalie. Oh, he's walked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. All right, who wants a good fight? See if we can get him to fight. Alaska's got the tempers. Here we go. Yeah, a little bump together. All right, I just called someone out. Looks like the guys want to get it going. And as the puck is dropped, and they're going to dance off here. Yeah. Uh, that was a heavy blow, and that is the end of this bout. And here comes referee Gillespie to clean things up. He's going to need some help here. He came out on the short end of the stick on that in that fight. That uh, doesn't look very. Oh, good I him. injured him on the fight. <laughs> oh my Getting into the later God. stages of this period, and it's a comfortable two nothing lead we're looking at right now. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Alaska is ready to go on the attack. Hangs on to the puck. Indy's got the puck. What a shot he scores! Oh man, the goalie thought he had this cover, James. You can tell from his body language when it beats him, hits the post, and goes in. No matter how much tracking a goalie does off the ice, the work with his goalie coach to help speed his eyesight up. Well, how our music like is circus music. The Seals have outshot, outscored, and all around dominated here in this first. This neutral zone face off set to go, and we are back underway. Oh, Wayne Gretzky got it. Steal in his own end. Gets it out of his own end. Stops him cold.
Liam wins fatality. Alaska's offense has been shining brightly so far in this first period. That would make this game more fun if you could fatality a player. Puck is dropping pretty much was. I mean, I injured him. Don't fight with me. That's what happens when you start a fight with me. I end it. That's what happens when you fight with Mike Tyson. I'll bite your ears off. I'll bite his ears off. Wow. Alaska has been the better team here in the late stages of this first period. More shots, more goals. Simple as that. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway. Oh, man. Denies him with the save. On the deflection. Yeah. Well, that'll do it for period number one and a chance for both teams to kind of get a refresh here. Well, this just a one-sided affair through the first 20. 3 nothing is the score as both sides make their way to the room. Fans, take a look to the sky. The whole team that one is looking for prizes headed your way all intermission long. All right. So, second period. Second period. Three zip ace, uh, aces. Seals. eventually and what that means is you're gonna have to fight here he goes good old-fashioned donny brook here wow and it's damn Michelle back to step on in here right this is that was extremely one-sided i mean i just teed off on him the way that fight went now we'll see if they can take advantage of the momentum Alaska has been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. And as the puck is... And the gloves are off, ready to respond with a different kind of hit. Time to the penalties, 31 seconds. I don't know how interested he is in a punch-in-the-face contest. The officials finally starting to get control here, and it looks like both sides are going to the box. At the risk of throwing too many people in the box, they just throw one from each side. Even things out to try and get this game back on track. That was a good looking chance, but he turned it away. Alaska's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Big stop by the keeper. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Over the line they come. All right, looks With possession like along the wall. Gone at. The Seals have it from their own end. The fuel have taken to the offensive attack. With the stop. Puck grabbed by Lafleur. There we go. And manages to clear the zone. Angles it over to McIntyre. Laying the body. Grabbed along the board by Lindstrom. Gets in front of it. Puck picked up by Lafleur. Blocked in traffic. Rupert's moving the puck through his own zone. Alaska's got the puck here in the open ice. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And it's a quick pass to McIntyre. And makes the save. Oh, okay. So they actually got a shot in on them. I can't believe it. in a big way as they dominated both the shots and goal category. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Pass right in front. Score! Oh! Now it's a two-goal game. Three to one. Good thing Athir's not in goal. Be like twenty to one on them.
Here's an odd man rush. Alaska's got a hold of it along the wall. Trying to get it out and manages to clear the zone. And that one's picked off. Alaska's coaches had talked about stick positioning to us before the game. There's a great example. They've done it all night. Rocks them. Takes it across the blue line. Takes that pass back at the point. The Seals look to start the transition game. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Alaska's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they Darn continue right. to lead here in the second. Bilbo's won the faceoff. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Danico. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Taken by Sullivan. Stop it. Carries it across the line. Wow, what a hit. Ray, you're at ice level. What do you see on that? It's not hits in! Yes. Don't hate goaltending is is an art, and I'm not an artist. Will in particular here in this second period. Watson's won the draw here in the neutral zone, and he slides it quickly to Watson. The Seals get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, that just goes wide. He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. Hammers him into the boards. Here's a chance to move the puck outside the zone. This has been a pretty tough shift for him, banged up in the middle of it. Now he's got to hobble his way to the bench. Hopefully they'll get the door open and he can get in and get some help from the trainer. Puck scooped up by Sullivan. Fires it into the offensive zone. Thunder oh, the play. that sounded painful. Taken along the wall by Messier. Indy's got control of it now here in the offensive end. From the slot by the goaltender he makes the glove stop right from the slot that's a dangerous chance four to one alaska's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them which is why they lead in a big way here in the second nice start with well a challenge being laid here irvine's looking around for somebody to fight he's gonna have to go and fill the dance uh, somewhere else. <laughs> my guy was gonna fight his way to the bench somebody's got to get the door open for him he's gonna need some help the Seals have been on fire offensively tonight. And That's how I pronounce my name. Because there was second. no Irvin, so I put Irvine. Won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. And he comes up with it. The Fuel have taken possession in their own end. Fires went on goal. Whoa. And there's the save. Thump. Irvine. Alaska's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Williams works the puck in his own zone. Stepping out of the crease now to play the puck. Oh, and a great scores! Oh, well, now they're by a couple. I guess it gives them a chance, but they've got to score again quick. You make so many Four to two. That so quickly. Every once in a while, you get one wrong. That's I'm really glad I didn't put you in goal, Theorjish. Indy's given themselves something that everybody in sports longs for. Hope here, Ray. Hope, a chance. Hey, it's here. Something. Time isn't the enemy yet. Oh, and a ghost fires. That goes right out of the zone. Uh, sorry about your toes, James, that I just jumped on. That was a huge hit. 
Man, this bone crushing hit. That hurt. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Lindstrom's going to go off for a pair for charging here. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. And that puck leaves the zone. And they're off to the races for the loose puck. And now it's to Sullivan. And that's intercepted. Whoa. Scores! Wow. Oh, they do it again. Their power play has been terrible in the shorthand group. It's taken advantage of the whole game long. Chris Chelios. James, when they look at the film tomorrow, that's not going to look very good. That's a pretty bad error that led to that goal against. The Seals don't seem to want this period to end here in the late stages of the second. No, this is fun time now. They're playing four lines and just rolling over top of them. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. By number 26, Chris Chelios. Time of the goal. That's a solid hit. Beautiful stop with the stick. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Alaska's got possession here in the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Bellavo. Comes up with the stop. The Seals have to be feeling good about themselves here in the late stages of this second period as they continue to lead big. Can't believe another shorthanded goal. Buck is dropped and we are back underway. That's a solid check on the play. Carries it in. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Let's it go! Oh, what a glove save! Oh, he's trying to box him off. Oh, oh, fight! Testy. Messier's crowd on their feet as they drop the gloves. Mark Messier is fighting. Oh, 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 oh. down to the ice there. That was a heavy blow, and that is the end of this bout. And here comes referee Gilles to clean things up. That bench must be pretty comfortable for them now. After you're just out there in a punch-in-the-face contest, it's nice to go get a drink of water, I'd imagine. Alaska's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the I love this team. They fight a lot. Messier's won it in their own end and manages to clear the zone. Slides away from his crease now to play the puck. Lights him up into the boards. The fuel have possession along the boards. Indies looking to break out of their own end. Wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove out to knock it away. The few on the puck against the boards. And nearing the final minute of the second. Minute of the play. In the 57 game. seconds left. Thunderous hit. You can hear it all the way from up here. Lots of times I miss playing, James. That's not one of them. I like I'm in a suit right now. That one hurt. Oh, what a stop. Gets All right, so we got end. it. From the neutral zone now. Oh, we got it there. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, Just man. bashes him against the board. Don't worry, James. You're safe up there. Down here, that sounded like a car crash. Denied by the goaltender. Sends it over to McIntyre. There's the collision. The Seals scoop it up along the boards. Sends it in on the attack. Grabs the puck in the corner. And he rings the post. Oh, right at the buzzer. Nice check. And that's all she wrote on period number two in this one. Hello, Kenny. All right. End of the second. Five to two. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action ready to go. 
Indy's power play gets back to work here as we are underway in the period. They win the draw. Fires it. He scores! A shot ah. I don't think the penalty kill has ever really looked for a shorty, but if the opportunity's there, now the more aggressive than they've ever been. Oh, I missed two. That's a really good shot. The goal oh. is down in the butterfly. He I believe that was Gordy Howe. Everything covered, but apparently not. The puck gets by him. Alaska's lamp lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Picked up along the wall by Howe. The fuel. Okay, possession off the wall. And now it's grabbed by Chelios. Oh, devastating hit. I'm telling you, James, sometimes you think you've got more room and you have none. He ran out of track right there. Puck grabbed by Sullivan. Quick shot. Great save. Somehow the shooter nice. got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good, good job, save. our goaltender. And he says no. Rupert's got it in the defensive end. Got him. Get him. He got hit by a there you go. That. that is not going to feel good. Puck picked up by Lindstrom. And he heads outside the comfort zone now to go play the puck in his own end. Dumped into the cross side. Lindsay's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Indy's got it in their own zone. McIntyre swooping in on the attack. Breakaway! What a stop by the goalie! Man, he read nice. that like a children's book. Nowhere the goal once the deep was made. And manages to clear the zone. Shuts him down. And off the save. That one's redirected out of play. That was a hell of a breakaway for uh, Indy. The seals are on. And stirring the yes, we're going to fight. Yeah, a little friction, and all of a sudden, guys are getting heated. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. And here we go. Buckle up. Don't punch me. Oh, and down <laughs> he goes. That's the end of that spirited boat. I love how the crowd loves it. Well, that'll do it as they ride him off to the penalty box, each to their own bench to sit for five minutes. I hope he can get a drink of water. Last time in there, the bottle was empty, which really must stink. Because you're tired and thirsty, and now you get a bowl of dust. You don't miss a thing, do you? No, I, I never was in there. Oh, well, yeah, I was in there, and I hated when the bottle was empty. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Trying to clear from the defensive zone. And a big defensive play as he'll clear the zone on the penalty kill. No mistake there. That puck had to go down the ice. It's down off the glass. Puts it on net, and that one stopped. All right, we are leading big time. Thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Rocked him, gets it out of his own end. Taken by Coffee. Here's a shot from the wall, and that's denied by the goaltender. Alaska's been so aggressive, they take it away all the time and space from their opponents, and they've stretched their lead. Alaska's been a dominant force offensively, plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Big hit! Oh. Well, he's going to have to pick himself up, but then he's got to go get his twig, which is slid all the way over there before he can get back in the play. It's a two-on-one. Poked away! Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck and manages to clear the zone. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. 
sends it over. Alaska is going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Gets it out of his own end. The Fuel have the puck in their own zone. Sends it over to Watson. Boom! Man, um. sometimes you just can't get out of the way, but for him, it's been all night. He's been on the receiving end of these types of hits. And manages to clear the zone. He scores! Ah. That's a short-handed marker. James, they took advantage of one little crease, and they were able to race up the ice and get themselves a short-handed marker here. Shots an absolute bullet. The goaltenders always work on their. We're still on the uh, short hand. Wow. Off the ice to try and help their vision, and not going to help there. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. By number 28, sent into the offensive zone. Oh. Effective use of the paddle on that one, and he makes the save. Four minutes, five seconds. Looking to break out here. On Why are the we still on the puck? has got a hold of it against huh. the wall. So when you're on the power play, the clock slows down, which is annoying. I gotta have to fix that. He could get by him, but he got squeezed off. That was a big hit. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. From the back of the cage with the puck. Here he is. Tries to tuck it in. I'll have to figure out how to fix that. Take control of it. Puck scooped up by Bellavo and makes the save. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Shot denied by the goaltender. The Seals will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. He scores! Another short-handed marker. You don't see that often. No, they're not a very passive group killing penalties, are they? That's a couple of times where they've just taken advantage of a mistake and raced up the ice. <laughs> oh, I thought he had this, James. He got a big chunk of it, but it just slowly trickled past him and into the net. And we're going to see a swapping of the goaltenders. He can't get over to the bench quick enough. Now he can get rid of that mask, throw in a ball, half wrap a towel around his neck, and try and relax. This has been a rotten night for him. Alaska is showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Nice wow, good, good job this one. The Seals gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Five of the goal. Five minutes, 25 seconds. Alaska's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Lindsay. The fuel have gained control of the puck along the wall. There's a collision. Sullivan's going to play it against the half wall. Alaska's penalty killers get a hold of it. Comes up with the stop. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Oh my the God, he's still on no the penalty? Slowing down here in this third period up big. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Big hit, absolutely lowering the boo. He closed so fast, there was nowhere for him to go. Takes a shot, denies him with a save. And now it's grabbed by Bellavo. Here's a shot. Wow, another short-handed marker. Wow. Well, they're not laying back at all. They want to kill the penalty short, but they've seen something they can take advantage. Gene Bellavo, second goal tonight. Well, he was brought into the game here to provide some relief in goal. No relief provided there. He gets beat. Alaska's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forecheck. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Oh, that'll make the highlight real right. Sometimes there's nowhere to go when you're running to a dead end. Alaska's laying up, pounding on the right, I'm going to see how to fix that clock. Accessibility. Accessibility. Because uh, this is really annoying. Now, let me see. 
All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, let's see if the next one. Uh, yeah, we'll do. Okay, here we go. The frequency of penalty calls in a game. I'm turning that all the way down. All right, let's see how that, if that helps. Accessibility. Position tonight generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Along the half wall with the puck. Both teams back to even strength and after giving up a short-handed goal, it's an opportunity the power play unit would probably sooner forget. Well, now they got a bigger hole to dig out of. They give up the short-handed goal, a sloppy power play, and they pay for it. The Seals gain control of the puck against the wall. He gets that one, too! Here's an offensive chance. He's stopping everything! Taken along the wall by Howe. Takes the puck behind the net. Puck grabbed by Howe. Indy's got a hold of it along the wall. The fuel have the puck in the open ice. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Alaska's got the puck along the wall. A lot of physical play. I like it. Here's an opportunity to get the puck out of their own end. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Great hand-eye contact on the play. Moves it around along the half wall. From the point, looks to make something happen. Oh, what a beautiful glove save! Nice, our goalie. Good stop. I mean, we're winning, like, by a large, large margin. If you need to give up a goal or two, that's okay. The Seals offense has been the story Hello, Kobe tonight as they channel. continue to lead big time Damn, the hockey third. looks fun. Yeah, it does. It's fun. Watson's won the draw here in the offensive zone. With the 40 again. Again and again. How does he not notice? Get the puck. Move the puck. Get your head up. Oh, that's a good hit. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Picked up along the boards by Lemieux. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Alaska's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. All right, so I did Watson's fix the clock. Big draw on their own end. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. So if there's a penalty, it won't um, run it real time. Tonight, they have been the busier team offensively and have converted numerous times here in this third period. Here's a blast off the post. Moves it over to McIntyre. Hammers one from the point. Turns him away. I was hoping for one more fight. Put in one of their most complete efforts no. that we have they seen. They won't fight anymore. Time, time That's like okay, though. Third. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. The Seals going to work on offense. Comes up with the stop. Feeds it over to McIntyre. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Unleashes a cannon. That's off a stick. Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. In the third period. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. And that one's turned away. Oh, and another big stop on the wraparound. And the official stopped the play as that one goes into the bench. So uh, I'm going to play one more game of hockey, but I'll let you guys pick the teams if you want to. Um, we have American Hockey League, ECHL, OHL, QMJHL, Western Hockey League. So uh, if there's a junior team you like, a minor league team you like, an NHL team you like, uh, pick your teams.
trickles over the goal line. The goaltender stopped most of it, just not all of it. The Seals have really been strutting their offensive prowess. You've been impressed tonight? I really have. They can put it on cruise control now. A large lead here in the third period. by number 28, Ray Bork. Stopped by the goaltender. And he elects to play the puck. Moves it to McIntyre. Here they come on the attack. And that slides right out to Sue Rice. On the attack along the boards. Alaska's got the puck along the boards. Gets it out of his own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Puck leaves the zone, forcing a mass exodus. Great stop by the goaltender. Positioning and quickness. That's the day right there. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. Ray, more shots, more offense, and they convert it. They dominated the game start to finish. You got a feel for the losing goaltender. He had to feel like he was at the end of a firing squad there. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night. Wow, Alaska, I believe, 10 to 2. That was uh, quite a game. So if there's any teams you guys want to see, uh, let me know. I, I would like to play one more game. Um, I'm going to go, let's check our headlines. Amazing show put on by Gordy Howe tonight. Five points in a 10-2 game. Uh, final score, Seals. 10-2, uh, to two, the Seals. Gene Beliveau had a monster night with four points. Um, so... So interesting. Let's see who's our next game. RC. Who's RC? Oh, Rapid City. Okay. So we play. Oh, we play uh, Rapids. The Rapid City Rush. So should we play that game or should I do an exhibition game? What do you guys think? Any thoughts? Yeah, nah. Hunter's return. Play an exhibition game. All right, Hunter, what teams should I pick? Let me save this uh, French of uh, the season. So we have American Hockey League, Western Hockey League, uh, Ontario Hockey League, QMJHL, 
Uh, we also have a lot of international leagues. Be a pro career. Uh, we have mode. NHL. Play now. Franchise mode. Play. There we go. So if there's somebody that you guys want to see, uh, let me know. Right now I have Edmonton Oilers at Chicago Blackhawks is what set. Should we do that one? What do you guys think? Think we should do um, Oilers at Hawks? I'm thinking that sounds kind of fun. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We're going to do Oilers at Hawks. And this will be my last game of the morning because then I've got to go get some things done. From the Windy City here in Chicago, Illinois, he's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. Ray, fans have been fired up for this one for a while. What are you looking forward to most here watching this one? Well, goaltending is always important, and both teams have talked about the need for the goalie to be among their best players. But both of these teams lean on them heavily. And I would say the guy that plays the best is probably going to come out on top. By the way, that's the organ from the uh, United Center. Possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Hammers them in the open ice. Yeah, this seems like it's going to be a tone tonight. The hit, the body contact, make sure Ooh. it's a regular part of the game. Offense is up to face off, and he wins the draw. I'm telling you, James, sometimes you think you've got more room, and you have none. He ran out of track right there. Picked up along the boards by Cassian. Trying to get it out from the point. Takes the shot. Oh, what a stop. And he's able to move the puck across right, we the got the puck back down. And it comes up with the save. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Dreisaitl. Oh, Take that, Trey Slimo. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. And manages to clear the zone. Puck picked up by Keith. Gets it out of his own end. Grabs the puck at center. Puck leaves the zone, forcing a mass exodus. Look out. Thunderous hit on the play. Gustafson's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Oh, it looks like the trainer's going to meet him at the door here. He's struggling to get off the ice, just trying to get to the bank. Takes the puck at the point. Edmonton's on the attack. Big hit. Damn. He's controlled the puck here at the blue line. Clearing attempt. And that goes off his own team. And look at this. It's a parent all alone. And that just falls apart. No way to recover from that. That's a good-looking play that leads to nothing. Nugent Hopkins looked pretty banged up after he was on the receiving end of this huge hit. Puck is dropped. He wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he makes the save. Yes! 
Also, that is our actual goal horn. Yeah, good luck there, Tender. That thing's in and out so fast, he doesn't even move. His name is Nurse. Like some kind He's going to need a nurse. That could be costly. We'll wait to see what sort of update we'll get from the team's media department. This neutral zone face-off set to go, Whoa. and we are back underway. Uh, sorry about your toes, James, that I just jumped on. That was a huge hit. With the stop. Oof. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Chicago's ahead, 1-0. Chicago's won the faceoff. What a stop! Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Laying the body. Lays into the body. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Oh, what a oh. hit on the play. Get your head up or you run into that. Perlini's on the attack in the offensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Perlini. Nice. Walker saved by the goalkeeper. There's another stop! Right on the doorstep! Misses over the net! You kick yourself in the tail whack you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. He's stopping everything! Oh, he followed the puck really well. Here comes oh. the pushback. They're gonna go! James, you lay a hit like that on a star, there's gonna be somebody that's gonna come after you, and that's exactly what's happened here. Yeah. That's a clear winner right there. Don't mess with me, man. I'll knock you out. The Blackhawks will like to add on to the momentum gained with that fight. The building is really perked up. Chicago's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Chicago's got possession here in the neutral zone. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Big hit, absolutely lowering the boom. He closed so fast, there was nowhere for him to go. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck wow. bounces out of the offensive zone. Picked These hits, the man, are just side. really heavy. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides it down like to Nugent Hopkins. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. The Blackhawks look to start the transition game. Mata's working it around in the corner. Grabbed along the board by Mata. Edmonton's got the puck. Handles the pass from the right wing. Puck scooped up by Nugent Hopkins. Puck grabbed by Cassian. And now it's grabbed by Nugent Hopkins. Strong hit on the play. Oh, getting a little cheeky there. There's the whistle stopping the play. It's go time. Oh, yeah. Wow. And it's time for referee Gillivec to step on in here, right? Yeah, this is clearly over, James.
Well, that'll add a spark to the game for sure. The building is pretty loud after that last fight. Here in the late goings of the period, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. And the gloves are off, ready to respond yeah. with a different kind of hit. And here we go. Yeah, this one was uh, to be expected after the player got hurt. You would hope his teammate would jump in and try and defend him. Oh, and he hammers him and sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. We are just owning Edmonton right now. Uh, you can't touch momentum, but you can feel it. And the home team's going to build a little bit. They believe after a fight win. Listen to this place. McDavid's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Puck picked up by Benning. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Puts it in deep. A blast in front. Turns it aside. Nope. Only one nothing. There's the horn concluding the first 20 minutes. See a few fans already jumping the gun there, trying to beat some of the lineups in the concessions and the washrooms. one nothing is the score as both teams make their way to their respective rooms. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. If you'd like to know more about their services, check out the website. Okay. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are wow. underway. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall and manages to clear the zone. Taken along the wall by Larson with authority again. James, I'm almost feeling sorry for him here. He's been throttled so many times tonight. Larson's been in some discomfort since he took this hit. A oh my god, we took this guy out too. Larson's injury clearly is a leg injury, lower body. You see him hopping down the tunnel Oof. towards the locker room to get some treatment. We'll try to get an update from the media relations department here shortly. Taken by Whoa. Jason. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Dreisaitl's got the puck. And he slides it quickly to chase on. Here's a blast! And he comes up with it. This has been a pretty tough shift for him. Banged up in the middle of it. Wow. He's got to his way to the bench. That took out but another guy. The door open and he can get in and get some help from the trainer. Dreisaitl still trying to shake off the effects of this hit. He really took a thump there. Chicago's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason of that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. He scores! Oh, no. What an effort to get this game back to level. You've got to continue to work even when you trail in the game. They did that, and now they have a brand new game to play. Control of the faceoff by the offensive team allows them to snap it into position for the shot. The goalie's not set, and he gets beat on it. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Look out. And stirring the body after the whistle. Yeah, a little friction, and all of a sudden, guys are getting heated. Neil's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Lots of time left in this period. We got a tie game. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Great hit on the play. He Wow. That's a ghastly defensive turnover. It gives the shooter all kinds of time. And he has time that was to pick pretty. a spot. Top bins. Chicago's offense has come alive. You might say someone figured out how to use the controller here, Ray. <laughs> it looks like it. At least one guy has. A one-goal lead. They'd like it to be more. Now he takes it over the line. Picked up along the boards by Neal. Three minutes. Shot. Oh, oh, I'm sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit as the play continues. Can't get a hold of that pass. He clearly doesn't like that. He's looking for a dance partner. Yeah, he looks like he wants somebody, anybody to, to engage with. 
Attaboy, good choice. You look at your weight class and think it's a bad idea. I'll choose when to fight. Don't you try to start fights Neil's with me. going to try and shake this off and get back into the game, but he took a heavy hit there. Chicago's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they continue to lead here in the second. Grantland's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Gets it out of his own end. There's the collision. The Blackhawks scoop it up along the boards. Oh, he looks like he's banged up there. He's going to try and finish the shift, but... Nope. No controller. No, don't do that. No controller, no. Uh, what happened? Pretty clearly not there we go. 100%. Chicago's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. Puck scooped up by Bouchard. Oh, that's a good hit. Chicago's got possession at center. Hammered into the boards. Wow, he closed off his room, slammed him into the boards. They're still rattling. They're going to have to look at him immediately. He's just slowly working his way to the bench, James. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Chicago's got it in the neutral zone. Well, we've like injured so along many players. With the puck. Oh, what a big hit on the play. Outstanding play. Closed the lane off, finished them hard. Scooped up along the wall by Keith. Oh, what a glove save. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Yeah, what happens is when um, when my controller thinks it disconnects itself, it wants to go back and um, it gets mad and makes me choose a side. And it's a pain in my arse. I got it, though. Still lots of time left here in this frame. It's 2-1. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Feeds the puck to Archibald. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. Murphy's taking it from his own end and manages to clear the zone. He's got a stop. Oh, what a stop by the goaltender. I thought he was beaten, but he makes a nice stop here. And that's blocked. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. The Blackhawks take possession here in the open ice. And there's the save. Great reflexes, another save. Bouchard's got it in the defensive end. There's the collision. Solid hit on that play. Chicago's gained possession. I almost feel bad for the Oilers a little bit because we're just hammering them so badly. But no way the official signaling the ball. That's a goal. Oh. Chicago's now gone up by a pair in the second. So they've got a two-goal lead. Some people say it's the worst lead in hockey. Well, guess what? I'll take the worst lead as opposed to trailing by two. Yeah, you know what's better than down by two? Being up by two, right? Of Simple. Puck grab by Taze. And the puck leaves the zone. Dumps it in. 13 minutes, 46 seconds. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Lays the body. Tremendous bone-crushing hit. That hurts here. You could hear it clean down on the ice. That was a solid, devastating hit. Granlin's still trying to shake off the effects of oh this. Oh, my God. <laughs> he really took a thump there. Chicago's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Oh, man. He got hit again. Man, he must feel like a pinata out there. He's been on his backside a half a dozen or more times tonight. From behind the net. Oh, James, that's close. 
I thought this was in. I thought the forward was going to be able to get to the post first, but he's not. That's a really strong save. No room right there. Here they are on the attack. Here's a chance out front, and they can't connect. Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Can't connect. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Chicago's ready to go on the attack. Comes up with the stop. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Splat. Getting into the later stages of this period. It's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And makes the save. Let's go, The Blackhawks have been the more active squad, and they continue to lead late in the second period. Sheehan's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And that goes off a player in front. Picked up along the wall by Kent. The Oilers have it against the wall. And he puts that one aside with ease. Puck goes out of play. Oops. And we'll have a face-off. Chicago's generated a lot of quality scoring chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. Also, you guys can't really see it, but I, I did a really bad job shaving my beard. One. That's awful. It's like there's big patches of it that are still long. Uh... Oh. Stop some cold. Hey fans, don't forget to pick up your team calendars. They're available in section 144 at the team kiosk. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action. Ready to go. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Edmonton's first two periods have been marred by turnovers. Every time it looks like they're going to get something going, they... That's three consecutive goals. Turn that over, James. What a bad play. Problem with it is it gives the shooter all kinds of time to find where he wants to shoot it. He sticks it right up under the bar. Chicago's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Rocked on the play. Fires it into the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Gustafson. Denied by the goaltender. And now it's grabbed by Taves. Edmonton's got control of the puck. Puck picked up by Cassian. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. Puck lands right back onto the blade. Thames getting physical now. Wow, did he lay the wood to him. That's a solid hit. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Taken by McDavid. He carries the puck up along the wing. Chicago's ready to go on the attack. Taken along the wall by DeHaan. Puck scooped up by Debrinket. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Puck grabbed by Dreisaitl. And it's a quick pass to McDavid. I see Dreisaitl was the able to come back, huh? The the puck along the boards. And manages to clear the zone. Gets in front of it. Pass to McDavid. Chicago's got possession here in the neutral zone. Tries to tuck it in. And the officials stop the play as the puck heads off the ice. Chicago's been so aggressive, they take it away all the time and space from their opponents. And they nice calling them out. All right, let's ever, fight. This is, this is going to get heated. Shane's won it off the faceoff. And the challenge is accepted.
absolutely yeah. knocked down to the ice there. That was a heavy blow, and that is the end of this boat. And here comes referee Gilles Levesque to clean things up. Both guys trying to give their team a little bit of a jump here, but the away team's not going to like the way that one turned out. Chicago's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Puck is dropped. He wins the draw here in the wow. defensive zone. Bouchard stick handling in his own zone. Rocks him. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck here in the open ice. Moves the puck across to oh. Neal. And now it's grabbed by Murphy. He scores! What a hard play this has been. Four straight goals for them. They have not taken their foot off the gas at all. Chicago having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. Puck picked up by Bouchard. Rocked on the play. James, he is going to feel terrible tomorrow. He's been hit so many times tonight. Moves around along the half wall. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Denied by the goaltender. Gets it out of his own end. Shot from the wall. Big save by the goaltender. And he totally whips on that one. Kyle driving hit. James, I didn't see that coming. He closed the ice there so quickly, and he just laid him out. Chicago showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Don't want to fight, huh? McDavid's no? won it in their own end. Yeah, how's that? Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Makes the save. Taken by Taves. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Carries it in. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Taves. And manages to clear the zone. Puck scooped up by Cassian. Quick pass Whoa. over to Benning. Chicago's got it in the neutral zone. Scooped up along the wall by Keith. Puck grabbed by Keith. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. And now it's grabbed by Dreisaitl. Gaining momentum up along the side. No. And now he moves it to Gagne. And oh, thunderous hit. He thought he had all kinds of room. There was none. He thought he could get by him, but he got squeezed off. That was a big hit. Puck picked up by Shane. From the point, they take control of it. The Blackhawks take over on possession. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Taken. Scores! Oh. What a shot! Wow. Not very often in today's game you get enough room to take the slapper anymore. But he hammers this past the goalie. Chicago's all too aware. There's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. I just love how physical this is. And that one stopped. All this chucking and smashing and crunching and Chicago's put in I love one of the most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time up big time late in this third. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Denies him with a save. Kinda lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Taken along the wall by Kachula. Blocker save. Denies him again. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Oh, for God's sakes. All right, well, good thing was we're almost done, so. Chicago's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And now it's grabbed by Shane. 
Looking to make something happen at center. He got all of that one. There's a violent collision. Takes it across the blue line. He got hit by a freight train on that. That is not going to feel good. Chicago's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And makes the save. Picked up along the boards by Kemp. Right in the low slot. Under all scores! Wow. <laughs> That's not even fair. Now the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. The Blackhawks tempers flaring. Yes. Yeah, bump one more fight. A little friction. Looks like the guys want to get it going. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. They're going to go here. This isn't about winning the game anymore. This is about settling a score. Minutes, 31 seconds. Come on. Wow, and it's time for referee Gillivac to step on. There we go. Right. This is clearly over, James. Uh, you can't touch momentum, but you can feel it. And the home team's going to build a little bit, they believe, after a fight win. Listen to this place. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway with authority. Hit. Was it ever? He went right over top of him. Puck picked up by Taves and manages to clear the zone. Scooped up along the wall by Saad. Thunderous hit. You can hear it all the way from up here. Lots of times I miss playing, James. That's not one of them. I like I'm in a suit right now. That one hurt. That's it. Woo. in control most of the night. They look like a firing squad out there, and the difference was they converted on many of those. Nice. Hooray, Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night. Okay. Seven to one. It's your final score. So um, I will be back on Thursday, and we'll be checking out the new Jackbox stuff. Um, that will be coming out Thursday morning, so we'll give that a go, see um, how those games work. A sight every oh, oh, we already, we already, no, 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 we already, here. There you go. So um, that will be our my plan for Thursday. Um, really, I have nothing else to kind of fill you guys in on. Um, so, as always, thank you for tuning in, and um, I will see you guys later. As always, thanks for watching and or listening. <laughs>